Peoples, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, yeah. Listen, my waistline's just my sideline, nigga. So don't take time, cause my hotline's banging on me. Welcome if you're new and welcome back girl if you're already subscribed Talking of subscription, mate you already know what I'm gonna say I think you guys are even tired of me to be quite fair with you Just subscribe it, subscribe it to the Chanel In today's video we will be discussing all things fashion Fashion baby! I just feel like lately there's been this, what's the word? I feel like lately there's been this outburst of quick fashion, quirky fashion, vintage fashion, I'm giving it all these kind of names, shortage fashion, fashions coming in, coming out and shaking it all about. All these types of fashions right that some people may agree with, some people may not agree with, I myself have been debating with certain things that I thought are acceptable to be wearing in public, each to their own man, each to their absolute own, however you know some of the things that people are wearing you guys cannot lie to me. Some of these things are, it's unacceptable, it's not normal, what is really going on? That is the honest truth, and you guys know this. But you know what it is? After some time, when you see something being rocked constantly, especially on the gram. The gram, the insta baddies, not all of them, but I just feel like there's certain outfits that I think, wow, this does not go together. So I have now come up with a theory. I think it works because sometimes, yeah, we're looking for clothes, we're looking for things to match. Listen, throw that mindset out of the window. Start afresh. This is the real tea. My theory is that in order for you to be stylish or to look cool, to look Instagrammable, right? You need to put things that would not go together. That is how you look quirky. You put things that do not go together at all. And then you chuck on a bit of makeup, make your hair be a bit nice, and then you wear sick trainers or a nice pair of heels. I'd say belly dare heels. Those make absolutely anything look good. I'm telling you, track suit and heels, boiler suit and heels, jumpsuit and heels, dungaree and heels, pajama-esque outfits and heels are looking amazing. So what are you really saying, brother? What are you really, really saying? Obviously, some of you guys may be looking and thinking, shut up, what are you really talking about, you stupid? Why, how can you tell me about fashion? But that's besides the point. But as usual, when I think of things like this, I have to put it to the test. I hit the high street and went to three different places. Monkey, Bershka, and Mango. Picked out some things at random, things that I would never really, really put together like that. Especially in terms of print, in terms of color, in terms of fabric, texture, all that kind of stuff. We Pick all those things up, went in the changing room, put the tops in a pile, bottoms in a pile, and put the jackets, if I had one, in a pile. And what I did is just close my eyes in there, picked the top at random, picked the bottom at random, and picked a jacket up at random to put them together. In terms of the shoes, kept it basic, because remember, my theory is that you can put anything together, but you need to have some really nice trainers or some really nice strapless heels. Not strapless, barely their heels. So first off, monkey, went inside, glitter everywhere, the whole shebang. So right now we are in Monkey and we're trying to pick some mix and match pieces, put them together, put this in the test, but I bet you any money this is gonna be sick let's go. Okay, so this first outfit, as you can see, is a severe shambles, yeah? But <laughs> what it is, you know, we're gonna keep this show on the road. First one, Defo teacher vibes, sophisticated shortage. I work in a corporate world, but I'm an ex-guitarist. That is the vibe that I was getting from that. As you can see, I've got this multi-colored skirt here, paired with my old reliable strappy heels, and this checkered shirt, and this cream slash white fleece jumper. So, I'd say without the fleece jacket, it doesn't look that bad. It's not that bad. Not my fave, but it's not that Yo, bad. I'm sure I have seen people in shortage wearing this. No one would bat an eyelid. So for that very reason, I'm giving it a good two out of five. Second outfit, like, I don't know man. Now this second outfit, I really don't like it, but for some reason it makes a little bit more sense than the first one. Separately, maybe some of these pieces work. I'm not sure about the trousers, but hey, separately, the pieces are not that bad. If I take off the jacket, what are you really saying? Oh, what are you really saying? 
Um, I want to be surfer. I want to be a goth, but I'm not really sure. So you've got these black trousers with this multi-colored panel on the side, with this floral shirt and this leather pleather high shining shining jacket. I have no idea what it is. Absolutely horrible to get on. It's a severe nonsense to me, but it makes a bit more sense than the other one if you're talking color wise. I probably give this outfit about a three out of five compared to the other one, a three out of five. Let me know what you guys think though. And then the last outfit, that one is I'm here, come and see me. Now this one is the bomb diggity. Like I don't care what anybody tells me, this is the shamala shamala of all the outfits, making me look like the baddest bee on the farm, the baddest sheep of all time. Yeah, yeah, there, there, that is me. Blue corduroy trousers here with this high shine silver turtleneck jumper here. Imagine them, Rihanna. It's making sense. It's making sense. This outfit, straight five out of five. I felt like if I was Rihanna, yo, that outfit would sell out real quick, real fast. It's okay, it's okay. Then we went to Bershka. Bershka we really tried to switch it up in terms of the, the, the colour, the prints and all that kind of stuff. We actually went to different sections. I don't think Monkey has a men's section. That's one thing I did realise. Monkey is a lady shop. I think so anyways, unless I didn't really see it. Bershka, we tried to focus on even mixing the female style as well as the men's style. Didn't really dabble in that too much to be quite honest with you because we only picked up some men's joggers, grey ones, but that can be picked up. You know, that's something the ladies can wear too, you know what I mean? As usual, picked up the items, headed for the changing rooms. Put the clothes in their different piles, tops, bottoms and jackets. Closed my eyes and picked out random. And the outcome this time, I think the outcome here was quite good. So outfit number one, as you can see, that was a little sparkly number. We went all out. We mixed the sparkles with the snake print and the completely different colour blue jacket. Separately, I like everything there. Together, it's all over the place. But for some reason, some wild reason, tell me if I'm crazy, I kind of like it. I would wear this by force, but I wouldn't be too upset about it. I'll probably give that a good four. So that outfit, I did actually like it. Do the squat pose and come on, we're coming through! We tried it with a purple jacket just to mix it up. That was a fail. That one right there was a fail. That was obviously my theory gone wrong. But with the blue jacket, we're coming through! The next outfit, I paired a neon yellow or neon green, whichever one you think that is. Neon green, neon yellow kind of bodysuit with the grey joggers and a red jacket and of course my heels. Now that top is bright! Now this outfit right here is probably something Ferdy would wear. Without the jacket, I give this outfit a good four. I am sure I have seen Kim K wear this. If anybody tells me they've not seen Kim Kardashian wear this, they are lying. Then afterwards, we paired it with this red jacket. Now, put the jacket on top, it's even more confusion. This is the kind of outfit you wear when you want to confuse your enemies. You don't really want them to know where you're going. Are you going to the club? Are you going to the gym? Are you going hiking? Or are you crossing the road at night? We don't know. Different kind of activities. And for that very reason, I will give this outfit a solid, very solid four. Yeah, outfit number three was this, um, I don't know what to call it, some sort of, similar to this actually, head that with some camo pants. I think that one is the one that made the most sense. I saw these boots as well that were really nice, LV inspired kind of boots. Those were the only clothes left, so I put that together. I think that looks kind of cool. Do you know the, the funny thing about this whole thing is I'm here saying, yeah, this is nice, this is nice, yeah, this is nice. And it could be like, no. Comment below, tell me what outfit you actually think makes sense and which outfit you think, no, Rihanna, you're actually just crazy. This is not looking right. Because I feel like sometimes when you're wearing the clothes, yeah, you really start to believe that things are nice. And maybe I need someone to tell me that it's a big no. Yeah. This outfit, I know you heard me say that I really liked it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. Colour-wise, it probably makes more sense than everything else. But I don't like it. I feel like I look like mud. But, I don't know. Tell me. I could be wrong. Say I give this one about a three. Yeah. And last but not least, we also hit up Mango. I love Mango so much. It's always been a bit of a fight between Zara and Mango. But these days, I'd say Mango is really taking the win. So we went in there also, did the same thing, picked up some things at random. Also ended up doing a little bit of shopping. Naughty, naughty. They had loads of dresses, jumpers, just things that made sense. I think Mango is staples, classics, 
all that kind of stuff and the other shops are just quick fashion you know just things that just tend to go out of style really quickly that's what you find in things like Bershka and Monkey they are still nice but they, they aren't things that really last a long time the quality isn't always that great as well with these quick fashion pieces but hey that's not what we're here to talk about outfit number one Mm, obviously very questionable some may not like it some may but I just feel like it was giving me Christmas party vibes staff party to be precise this outfit right here ho oh, can nobody tell me nothing we've got this red jumper with this long dress and these dagger shoes hey look at these boots though nah. Jeez. I do look like I'm coming to stab someone but trust me everybody's safe a little bit too big for me but hey I had to try them on very drippy shoes if I do say so myself I'm sure Pastor Toby would most definitely agree outfit number one I actually did kind of like it to be fair very different though that is something I would wear yeah don't judge me because if you think it's ugly that's fine but that is definitely something I would wear I'm really thinking about it and that outfit is most definitely something I would wear outfit number two in mango was definitely a fail I mean some of you guys might like it we tried it both ways we tried it with the shirt closed up with the thingy on top and then the second time had to do a bit of off the shoulder that one yeah, that one was a fail. For me, I look like Mary Poppins slash an old school World War II nurse slash a teacher slash... It was horrible. I absolutely don't like this outfit. The dress isn't too bad by itself, but even then it looks like it's part of the Anne Frank Summer Collection or Mother Teresa Autumn Winter Collection 2019. When we tried to put the jacket on top, that leopard jacket that I picked out at random, oh my gosh, that was a funke. What is really going on here? I look like Pat Butcher. This is a Pat Butcher classic right here. I look like I'm coming to shut down the Queen Vic, buy all the tables and pop the maddest bottles. This is a no, this is a fail. This is a big, big, big zero from me. Outfit number three, despite the things being chosen at random, I like outfit number three. Outfit number three was definitely one of my faves. And then this final outfit, I would say, is most definitely one of my top three. If you have been watching properly, you will know exactly which ones I have kind of been feeling a little bit. This one is my dagger shoes once again. Hey! With this brown corduroy skirt, sleeveless maroon slash brown sleeveless turtleneck top. The jacket I happened to pick up sort of went with the look i kind of liked it i liked it let me know what you guys think i could be going crazy like legit tell me if i'm mad tell me if i'm seeing things by itself without the jacket i absolutely love the outfit i would most definitely wear something like this out but yeah i give this outfit a solid five out of five tell me what you guys think so that was my experience with my little theory that i have going on i feel like i'm gonna try this again but I'm gonna do it in a completely different way. I'm not too sure how just yet, but I'm gonna try and do it in a way that the clothes are picked out even more random. I might get different people to pick out different items and then put them together and see how that goes. I think, as a whole, my theory stands, but not all the time, clearly. The main thing that I've learned in this little experiment of mine is that confidence is key. As cliche as this sounds, right? Confidence is the key. You could be wearing the maddest clothes but when your hair your makeup and your shoe is popping and your confidence the confidence is key yeah i believe it i believe it's making sense your clothes could be speaking chinese but it's making sense to me i understand i get it anyways thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe once again and i will see you guys in my next outfit until then my next outfit wow in my next video so yeah man see you guys next time and yeah man that's it that's all i gotta say baby